The Rain Selection tool has become even more powerful in Cubase 14, allowing you to edit your audio even faster. I promise you, you will look forward to editing. Let's check it out. Let me show you some of the new things that you can do with the new improvements in the Rain Selection tool. The first thing you can do is you can create a selection between two events. So for example, as you can see, I have these audio events here. If I want to select the space between these two events, all I need to do is double click with my Rain Selection tool. And now I've selected the space between those two events. Now, this can be incredibly useful if you're editing and you want to close any gaps. For example, if I want, I can use the cut time shortcut right here to close this gap. I'm using a shortcut here, of course, but if you want, you can go to range and select cut time. This is going to be incredibly useful if you're editing voiceovers and you want to cut the silence between the phrases. The next improvement in the rain selection tool is that now if you make an editing operation, the rain selection is going to remain intact. For example, let's say I want to select this part right here and I want to cut the tail. I can just use my shortcut here and cut the tail. And as you can see, the range selection remains. So this is still selected and I can still move it around. And the same thing goes, for example, if I want to perform a cut and paste operation. So if I cut this, the rain selection is still intact and I can still move on with my editing. Hold shift while dragging with the mouse inside of an existing rain selection to redraw or hold shift while dragging with the mouse outside of an existing rain selection to adjust left or right edges. And if you're editing multi-track recordings, you're going to love these new features. Now you can select multiple events like I've done here on these vocals and you can nudge all of them. So you can hold command or control and use your left and right arrow on your keyboard to nudge all the events under this range selection. This is going to be a lifesaver if you're trying to edit vocals that are ever so slightly out of sync. Just select all of them and use your nudge functions. And the same thing happens if you want to move multiple events. So I've made a selection here and now I'm going to start moving them. You will see that the events are cut and moved. And one of the things that is such a tedious task if you want to edit multiple tracks of vocals, for example, or of drums, and let's say you want to mute them. Previously, you had to select them, cut them, and then use the mute function. Now what you can do is you can make a selection here, and all you need to do is hit your mute shortcut, and immediately these events are muted. Cleaning up your tracks has never been easier. You can now also use your rain selection tool to perform sleep editing. So let's say, for example, I want to select all these events here and I want to perform sleep edit operations. I can hold my shortcut and now I can start doing sleep editing just by using the rain selection tool. Using the move menu, you can also perform some really useful operations. For example, if I make a selection here, if I go to edit, move, I can move the event start or the rain start to cursor or the event end and rage end to cursor. And if you want to glue events together, you can just select them, go to edit, select glue, and now these events are glued together. And if you're working with multi-mic recordings, you're going to love the next one because now what you can do is you can select a range and you can reverse the phase of just this selection. With these improvements to the range selection tool, Cubase 14 makes audio editing faster and more efficient than ever. Happy editing and I'll see you on the next one.